Hi guys, Random here. Back with a bit more World of Warships. Ah. Guess what? Yeah, I couldn't sit on my hand any longer. I pulled the trigger. It's the Kronstadt. The Kronstadt. Hmm. Now, this is a boat that will make you... Possibly think very carefully about how things are classified in this game. So we're going to have a quick look here. I'm just going to pull up some tier 8, tier 9 battleships and cruisers. Okay. The Kronstadt. Captained, of course, by Dasha Perova. Because Russian cruiser captains and uh, the intended battleship line that's going to come out. Yeah, the captains are going to be quite different, I think. This is a cruiser. Don't shout at the screen. It wasn't me that called it a cruiser. Look, there's the word tier 9 cruiser and if we look at the um, no, no, we've only got tier 8 there uh, tier 9 as well, there we go and if we look at the little symbol it's a cruiser not my fault it's a cruiser that has 71,050 Hit points. Let's have a look at, at a tier 8 battleship. The Richelieu. 63,700. Okay. What about tier 9 battleship? 78,300. And then, of course, you've got the Musashi, which is redonkulous at nearly 100,000. So this cruiser... He's only just shy a little bit of the Missouri in terms of hit points. This cruiser has pretty good armour, actually. You know, nice Citadel belt and stuff. And, yeah, 330 mil at the front. Nice armour. Pretty good. So, when we're just looking at the Citadel itself, 90 mil, 30 mil on there, so yeah, it should stop plunging fire to some extent when you look at the deck and the uh, belt there. That's, that's pretty good. Mm, yeah, should stop it. So, the armor's pretty good bit too good for a cruiser really but uh, it's almost battleship-esque 36% torpedo damage reduction not bad not bad it's almost like a battleship artillery oh look 305 millimeter guns guess what they're like battleship caliber aren't they small battleship caliber what else is in this game that is similar. What about the Graf Spey? Mm, 283 mil guns, but you know, similar kind of concept, except crap armour. Hmm. Hmm. Who got penalised for having a ship similar to this? Well, do you remember this thing? The hood. Hmm. It's got slightly better armour on the belt, but it's kind of similar in a lot of ways. And yet this is a battleship. I'm confused. I am confused. 
Toronto. These 305 mil guns, 9,000 max AP damage. Sounds like a battleship. 4,200 max HE damage with a 24% fire chance. 18.5 second reload. And a 35.3 second turn time. Do you know what? That sounds to me like a battleship. Secondary armament, 5.3 kilometre range. Uh, we've got 5.3 kilometre range here. Yeah. Four twin mounted 100 mils, 1400 max HE with a 6% fire chance. Four twin mounted 152s. 12% fire chance again, 2200 max HE. Cruisers don't have, like, that many secondaries, do they? I thought battleships did, but, yeah, maybe I'm confused. 182 kilometer firing range on the main guns. And, yeah, it's, it's not great. It isn't great. For tier 9, this is not great at all. Uh, six twin mounted 12.7s going out 1.2 kilometers 31 DPS. Seven quad mounted 37 mils, three and a half kilometers 8.5, uh, 85 DPS, 8.5, 85. Yeah. And your 100 mil secondaries are dual purpose going out five kilometers 59 DPS. Maneuverability. Oh, look, 33.5 knots. That's kind of the same speed as a battleship. Hmm, 840 metre turning circle. Again, fairly battleship esque. 14.9 rudder. This thing, I'm sorry. Why is it a cruiser? This should be a battleship. There is no way that something with 12.4 kilometre detection range, now all right, that's got the module and she's got the skill, there is no way that is a battleship. No. No, bad wargaming. Bad. Bad wargaming. Why is this in the game as a, a cruiser? I mean, it's tier 9, okay? So you can't take it into... Uh, like tier 10 rank battles, for example. Um, but if you could, because of the ship makeup, uh, or the, you know, flotilla makeup uh, limitations that you've got, this would be a cruiser. What's going on? It's got big guns, it's got loads of hit points, it's got good armour. All right, the AA is a bit crap, but it's it's not a cruiser. <laughs> Who told them this was a cruiser? Oh dear. Mm. Right. Well, we've got some flags on it. Um, let's have a quick look and make sure we've got all the. Oh, it's repair party one. I'll put a repair party two on there. Um. But yeah, we've got radar. Yay. We've got defensive AA. Or spot a plane. Is it the other one? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> dear. Upgrade, boys. Remember that reload. Yeah, we could put this on and make it 12% quicker. Um, so instead of taking 18.5, that's going to take 12%, uh, take about two seconds off. So that takes 16.5, and you've got adrenaline rush on the captain as well. Mm. You could actually get this reloading quicker than a lot of cruisers, and that's kind of troubling me a bit I haven't put these two in yet because I'm not entirely sure what I want to go with to be honest uh, it won't be secondary battery mod 3 on this and I doubt very much it'd be AA guns either um, not unless I keep coming across carriers so it'll either be gunfire control system to extend the range a bit or main battery mod and this one will be a choice really between all three 
I'll see how she handles. Um, steering gear mod is very appealing, so is Damage Con mod 2. But so is Prop mod 2, because she takes a little while to get going. So, hmm, let's take her out. Let's see what the uh, matchmaker throws at us. And let's see how we get on. I'm 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 confused with this ship. I don't know why they've listed it as a cruiser. This, I mean, all right, the tier nine battleships go. No, it's probably not um, quite up to par. But with that many hit points, hmm, and it's very good at tanking. So I am a little bit troubled with this. Well, there we go, look. Seven, oh, it's a tier eight, nine, ten game. We're mid-tier. We do have a carrier in the game, which is a bit annoying, especially considering it's a bot. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well, we're next to Yamato. No, I'm not singing it. Um, no way I'm going to be able to turn behind that island. Hmm. That Cleveland is going to be what we need. Because we want anti-air cover. So, let's swing the guns over. I'm going at full turn to port. Do not want to be charging straight down the middle. Yeah, we're just about. So, let's see. Now, obviously, like any ship, if you're caught broadside on like this, bad things will happen to you. Um, so, let's not do that. Let's get round this island and then start pointing the nose towards the enemy. Think of it like a claymore. Front towards enemy. Okay, we have some ships popping up now. So, yeah, we do have stuff coming in, but not too worried about that at the moment. We're going for the cruisers, which, why would you do that? Why would you go for a Cleveland? Crazy bots. Yep, so their squadrons just got chewed to pieces. Which is fine. And... That hipper is not in range, unfortunately. Oh, he's turning in, though. Let's try about there. Check dispersion out. No, nope, didn't hit him, but... Points for effort, eh? Right, these things are... They're all just hanging about here. The Republic's pushed forward, but... So, there's the enemy Kronstadt. And let's see. If we put some shots down there. There we go. Let's let's just delete him, shall we? It's what I mean about don't get caught sideways in this shit. 
um, because as with any ship, it's a paddling. Nice shell speed on them, and yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of that. Crondy over there. Chances are we probably will attract a bit of attention now, but uh, by the time the guns get round, look, we've reloaded. It's it's just really good, this ship. Some might even say too good. Uh, we got a bounce on him, how oh, he turned out. Okay. Got the Yamato over there. Yamato is probably a, a fair... Uh, yeah. Shoot down a few planes, that's fine. There's a Yami. Let's get the shells away. Nice. Nice hit on the Yamato. I haven't used my defensive AA yet. Um, don't really see the need at the moment. So we've got the Republic here. I think he's coming round this way. Yeah, he is. So let's get the guns clear. Oh no, no need. Okay. And the gun turn is okay. You know, not quite enough to keep up with you in a turn. But they're not bad. Well, there's the hipster. Okay, Mr. Hipster. Let's see if we can... Give... Oh, no, you're going slower than I thought. Yamato going to pop out behind that island fairly soon, so we might be able to uh, get some shots on him. Let's see how they do. Oh. No, not great. Okay. That Yami's not going to be too friendly. So, let's see if we can do something about him. We'll just put some shots down into the superstructure. Yep, Dasher approves. And it looks like he's going to be turning all the way around. So let's just hold on the fire for a second. Wait for him to settle down a bit. Turn into those torps. And 8k. We should get another set of salvo out. Hopefully. Yeah. There we go. So that should be the end of the yammy. Yep, Yamato has sunk. Uh, Shikaku took him out. Thread the needle. Well, spotted by planes, so I think we need to go this way. There's that hipster. Okay, not great, but... Aha! Mr. Shikaku. Let's see if we can give you a bad day. Yeah! That's probably spoiled his breakfast. Over 11k. Oh, that wasn't quite so good. 
Oh no, the hipster set me on fire. Whatever shall I do? Oh, I'm not too worried because I've got heels, so you know, being a cruiser. Let's just see if we can take this carrier out. And it, it seems a little bit inconsistent with the the damage. I mean, we are spot on the waterline there. There we go. And now we have a Roma over here, Roma Lona. And I'm not even going to bother repairing because I get a quicker reload. So yeah, shoot at me all you want. We'll see if we can get some shots on the Roma before the rest of the team obliterate it. We're just short. He's just turning away. Don't turn away, Roma. Come back. There we go, look. We're just coming into range. He's still heading away from us, though, so... Let's try about there. Hopefully. Eh, not bad. Got one hit, one shatter. Yeah, dispersion on this thing, it seems a little bit peculiar. It seems that the shells, they spread out sideways, but not so much up and down. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how you've described that. It's not really... Sigma that's the issue. It's just straight up dispersion. There we go. Yamato. Massive 18.1 inch guns. Flatten that thing. Lovely. So, in our cruiser, 93,900 damage, 48 shell hits, one plane shot down, two boats sunk, five citadels, two defense, and one cap flag ribbon. 218,000. 678 credits, 2,063 XP, and 416 free XP. Tier 10 battleship. Tier 9 cruiser. Hmm. Yeah. Take home. 164,678 on the credits. And, uh, yeah, Dasha got 2,476 XP showered upon her. I'm sure she's elated. So, the Kronstadt. It's one of those ships that I think may possibly be a little bit too good. Now if you play this like a battleship, um, which you can, um, if you're too aggressive you will just get deleted like that Kronstadt in that game. If you get caught side on, game over. Um, but if you keep pointing the nose at the enemy, it's pretty good. If you play it like a cruiser, I don't think you'll have quite as much success. Um, it really is treading a fine line, this boat. It really is. Have you got it? Hmm? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know what people's opinions are on this thing. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Maybe a little too good. In my opinion. Anyway, you know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, give the old like button a tickle. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? 
And don't forget the little bell icon on every YouTube channel that you subscribe to to make sure you get your notifications. But I think that's more than enough from me for now. So I'm going to go and wash myself in bleach, I think, because I feel dirty after playing that. Um, mm, yeah. Take care, and I'll catch you again in the next one.